Hello everyone. In this INR number 19, we are going to discuss a very important PYQ chromoblastomycosis. Right? So what is chromoblastomycosis? It is a chronic infection number one. Where you will find them? These are tropical areas. What is chromoblastomycosis? It is a subcutaneous fungal infection. So remember, chronic, tropical areas, subcutaneous infections. Who will be affected? Those who are working in agricultural areas. So young agricultural worker. So history will be young agricultural worker of the tropical areas, right? And which will be causing this? These are caused by two fungus or two black molds, which are Cladio fialophora carionii and Fonsesia pedrosiae, right? So these are the two things, Cladio fialophora and Fonsesia. These are the two chromoblastomycosis fungus which will be causing this subcutaneous fungal infection, right? So how, where you will be looking for the patient, you will be looking for the lower extremities, which is commonly affected, right? So lower extremities, what they will be showing you, they will be showing you warty, verrucoid or cauliflower lesion, right? So you can see here, they are showing you warty, verrucoid or cauliflower like lesion, right? So whenever you are finding a tropical area, lower extremity showing warty cauliflower like lesion which fungal infection you will suspect chromoblastomycosis right how we will diagnose chromoblastomycosis we are going to use two things one is the potassium hydroxide preparation second is the saberouts dextrose agar these are the two two important things which we are going to do so what we are going to see on koh preparation we are going to see the cells called as sclerotic cells sclerotic cells are also known as copper pennies because their color color is like a copper right you can see looking like a copper brown that is why copper pennies and they are also called as medullar bodies remember sclerotic cells copper pennies medullar bodies these are common thing which you will see on the koh preparation right so how is the color there they are globe shape so you can see they are globe shape you can notice they are globe shape round structure globe like and color is a copper like or you can also say that cigar color and the important point is their diameter. Diameter is 4 to 12 micron meter diameter, right? So that is the diameter of these. So cigar shape, copper color, 4 to 12 micron meter on KOH preparation suggestive of chromoblastomycosis, right? So this is the sclerotic bodies or medullar bodies or copper penny, it is copper penny bodies. And on sabro dextrose agar, what we were going to see, they will be looking uh, like a dark brown structure. You can see these are dark brown structure, right? Little velvety colonies. So dark brown velvety colonies and they can be uh, cultured on the SDA after the uh, for the four weeks at 25 degrees Celsius, right? So this is the KOH preparation. This is the dextrose agar. And once we have done the diagnosis, then we will start the treatment. What is treatment? Surgical treatment. Surgical treatment is by cryotherapy or by laser therapy. And it will be followed by giving the antifungal drug like itraconazole. So keep revising and enjoy this INR for your upcoming NEET PG also, INICT also and FMG exam also. Best wishes to all of you.